NEET aspirants, welcome to our channel Zynerd NEET UG, India's number one smartest counselling and guidance portal. Here we guide all NEET UG aspirants for the NEET counselling in a structured way to get the best seat you deserve. Every one of you must now be working so hard for your May 7th exams. Working hard for your exams is the first and foremost step in cracking your exams. But after clearing your exams, what is the next step? Deciding on the right institute, dreaming about the institute you want, dreaming about your life, how your life will be in the next 5 plus years will not only motivate you more but also will shape your entire career. Future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Obviously, the rank you get in the counselling will determine where you stand in the entire process. But there are as well other factors to consider to evaluate a best institute. Each and every aspirant is different. You have different purpose, priority and personality. Some of you would like to study in an institute which is near to your hometown. Some of you must be so much concerned about the fees or reputation and so on. Obviously, the goal is one, to become a doctor one of the best noble professions. However, the 5 plus years of medicine is not just about academics and learning. It is just more beyond that. Your experiences, your endless responsibilities and opportunities, your college life and all those things. And it's really worth it. Before we get into the factors, one disclaimer. All the factors may not be relevant for all the institutes. There may be exceptions. Please use your discretions for final decisions. Let us go into the factors. Factor number one, ranking of the college. Where does the college stand in ranking provided by various organizations or authorities? Opinions may vary, so be cautious here. For example, NIRF rating, National Institutional Ranking Framework by Ministry of Education is a trusted source. Many factors such as the faculty to student ratio, teaching and learning resources, Research and all such factors are considered by NIRF rating. But a quick check here. Only 150 colleges out of the 650 plus colleges participate here. So please do consider other ratings or rankings given by India Today or Outlook or etc. like that. Beyond all this, the historical cutoff ranks or the closing ranks will give you the exact detail of how good the college is. Factor number two, how old the college is. The age or when the institute started gives an entire or deep picture about how good the college is, how it is famous among the public and all those things. There is a positive correlation between the age as well as the good learning in a college. Factor 3. Academics. The entire spectrum of learning opportunities is no doubt highly significant. Number of beds, the patients in flow, the variety of cases determine how good the college is. Obviously, the variety of cases you witness during your posting or your tenure will give you more opportunities for learning. Patients are our greatest teachers. Factor number four, infrastructure. Better the academic infrastructure, facilities and equipments, better would be the scope of learning. Hostel and other facilities are also important if you are looking for a comfort factor. Factor number five, recognition. Regulatory bodies such as NMC, National Medical Commission is responsible for maintaining the basic standards and quality of medical education. So, please check whether the institute is recognized by NMC or if not, if it is not recognized, when it will be recognized. Factor 6. Fee Structure Financial planning is most essential in doing any professional course. For example, you will all be aware that government colleges have a very minimal fee structure. But there are few government colleges which charge high, say for example 1 lakh per year. So watch out for these institutes and be sure about your affordability. Some of the private or deemed universities may charge even higher than the regulated tuition fee. Say for example a hostel fee or developmental fees. So if you are looking for a loan, Know about the entire cost of education beyond the annual tuition fee. Factor 7. Bond after UG completion. After you complete your MBBS degree, some of the state governments or state institutes or private colleges or deemed colleges may ask you to serve for one or more years after completing the degree. If you are not going to serve, you may have to pay the penalty. If you are not going to pay the penalty, they may not issue certificate or some such bonds or like that. So please check or gather all the information before going into such institutes. Factor 8. Location and language. 
Some aspirants may be comfortable to choose or live in an institution which is very comfortable in language or lifestyle. This is not a fault because every aspirant is different. Your need may also differ. For most of the candidates, this may not be an issue because acclimatizing to a particular situation or learning a language may not be an issue if you are highly motivated to be in the best institute. So, be clear about what you need. Factor 9. Internal PG quota. This is a crucial factor, but many students miss to consider this. There are institutes or states which offer an internal PG quota. That is, after you complete your UG, those states or those institutes may give you an internal quota where you can continue your PG as well. With the number of PG seats being only around 50% of the UG seats, the competition for PG is going to be tougher and tougher in the coming years. So please look for this factor as well. Factor 10. Brand. After completing the course, how the peers or other employers Accept your institute as a brand really, really matters. Beyond the employability, the nationwide and the worldwide recognition of your institute plays a vital role. For example, if you're planning to do your PG abroad, then the institute recognition matters. For instance, candidates with MBBS from AIMS or CMC Vellu would have the benefit of directly registering in Singapore for practice, while other candidates may have to take further steps for registering. Depending on all your priorities and needs, all or some of these factors may be relevant. If you are a parent watching this video, support your child. Analyze institutes based on all these factors. Gather as much information as possible. This will ensure that you have made the right decision on institutes during counseling. Zainer is here to help you. One final note before leaving. Dare to dream big. For those are the dreams which have the potential to push the whole world forward. Subscribe to our channel Zyner Neat UG, the one and only platform for all Neat UG counseling related information. All the best aspirants.